Hi friends, this is Leela. So welcome to my Angular course. In this video, we will we will try to learn about the directives. So in the previous videos and all those things, we have covered all the components concept and all those things we have covered, right? Now in this video, we will see about the new concept directives. So as we are, as I have already told you, the directives are of two types in Angular. That is structural directives and the attribute directives. Structural directives is nothing but what we can say is, which will change the DOM okay so that means adding of an element or removing an of an elements is possible using the structural DOMs so the structural DOMs uh, so structural directives which are present in the angular built-in are ngif and ngfer ngfer means what it will do is it will it will replicate the li elements for example if you are looping over that li element means you will be writing single li element only but the ngfer loop will create all the li elements for you whichever is necessary so that means it is creating the, it is manipulating the DOM. That means it's creating or removing the data. In the same, in the similar scenario, ngif also. ngif means depending on the condition true, it will add, it will add the element or it will otherwise it will not add the element. It will remove the element. So that is the scenario. So those are structural directives and the attribute directives means so the these directives will not have the ability to remove or add the element, but it can it will change the behavior of the element. So what we can say is something like ng class or ng style. So it will not remove the development, but it will try to add the change the behaviors. That means adding a color, adding a background color, or otherwise changing the text or something like this. It, it can remove, it can change the data, but it will not uh, completely remove the data or add add a new element or something like that. Okay, those are attribute directors. Now in this video, what we will try to do is we will try to create one custom create our own custom attribute directive. And then afterwards you'll see about the structural directives and all things. First, we'll see about the attribute directives. How can how we can create the attribute directives in our Angular? So coming to our example here, we go to this example. So this is a simple example. Here we are having. Now in the, here, I, what I will try to do is I will try to create one view. One view. Please add the background. color red okay so what i am trying to do is am i uh, so what is this text is text is saying please add the background color as red so if you go here and if you see so we will we will able to see the message please add the background color red how we can apply the background color red for this one we can apply a class or otherwise simply we are, what we can do is we can apply ng style so this is an attribute directive okay so i can write here i can do background color as red red or something like this which whatever the name you want you can give and here i can go sorry the spelling is mistake and here i can do okay double quotes i need to give it as a in a double quotes okay now this is the example now what i will try is i will try to check the output if i try to check the output here i will try to refresh Okay, trying to build okay it's completely built it has it is highlighted with the red color now so we have used the built-in di directive built-in attribute directive ng style so we, what we will try to do is we will try to write the custom directive so what i will try to do is so now i will try to create here one folder so i have created one folder here directives in this directive i will create a new folder something like highlight sorry highlight text dot directive dot ts okay highlight text dot directive dot ts i have created a new new file in the directives folder in the app folder only itself i have created one a new folder directives i have i have named it as highlight text dot directive dot ts so let me increase the font size here if I, if I go to settings and I will view the what I can say zoom level to one so that you will be able to see. Now I think it will be clear to see. I think so. Here I have created a directives folder and this one highlight texture. Now, here what I will try to do is so this directive is also is nothing but what we can say is it's a simple class only. So I can write export class. So name of the class highlight directive highlight what we can say is text directive okay so this one is the 
simple class. So what I will try to do is here you will be having a constructor. Okay, you will be having a constructor. So constructor. So for this constructor, what you will be having is you will be getting a parameter that is nothing but the element. So for which element this has been applied, we will be getting a element here. So before adding this element, what we need to do is in order to convert this class to a directive, we need to import and from the angular core okay angular core what we need to import is directive okay in order to convert this class into a directive we need to add at the rate directive okay so what i will try to do is here i will try to add selector so you will be having one special thing called as selector selector we need to give whatever the names it should be unique app highlight text highlight text i will give this one as app highlight text now in this constructor you will be having you will be getting one parameter that is nothing but element what is the that element you will be getting as a type of element ref okay we have already seen about this element ref right now i will implement ng on it so for this one also you can implement ng on it all the life cycles you can implement so i am i am using implements on in it okay sorry I can implement on in it. So this one you will be getting it from from the angular core. Okay. Now what I will try to do is so we have implemented on in it right. So now what we can do here we need to implement ng on in it. Ng on in it. So you will be writing ng on in it. What is the error in here we are getting? cannot find name constructor so okay you, uh, for me this is the uh, my editor problem what we need to do is so after adding this directive what we need to do is we need to add it in the app module so how we can add this app module is in this in the declarations we need to add this directive okay we need to add this highlight text directive and here we need to import that highlight text directive okay so sorry you can have this one from the directives and also you can have highlight text directive okay so the thing what we will be importing is highlight text directive okay i need to import this highlight text directive immediately what we can see is here we we have removed this one all and here the spelling mistake i have written the implement spelling mistake so implements on in it so this is the thing we have completed so now in the ng on in it what i will try to do is i already got the element right what I can do is this dot element dot native element. So we can get the native element from this one. So if you want to convert it into what I can say is an uh, to an HTML element means what I can do is here I can write uh, HTML element. I can write it like this and here I can do dot style. Sorry, I can do completely with the um, like this one and i can do dot style dot background color is equal to red so that you will be getting intel sense so if you convert it into the html element another one what we can do is i uh, can also convert this one as as html element we can also do like this so any anyway anyway is correct so if you want to know more about this type of type casting things so i have already covered the type casting concept in the typescript uh, typescript close i have already uh, use this type casting thing so now i can convert this one into the so what we can say here to red okay so now what uh, what we have did is here we have imported this directive and we have added this at the rate directive and here in this ing on it we are taking that native element and we are converting that one into the background color now here the selector if you have if you have given like this means so now this one this selector will take it as an element so now we we cannot give this one what I can say is we cannot give this one as um, where is this users component or HTML? Yeah, we cannot apply this one as like this. Okay, so I cannot apply this one as like this. Why? Because we have mentioned this one as app highlight text. Okay, app highlight. We have mentioned this one as app highlight text. So that means the selector defaultly what it will say if you mention it like this. It will take it as an element not as an attribute so that means what i need to do is 
I need to take this one so we will add it in another one so I need to keep it like this okay it will take it as an element element so that means tag and as an HTML tag okay now if I refresh this one and if I try to check the output here let it refresh is it refreshing or not yeah so now I it has been converted into the red color if you see inspect element and if you see here if you see the inspect element here you will be having a separate tag like this see okay so but if you don't want to use these directives as a html element you want to use it as an attribute to the div or anything means what you need to do is you need to convert this one to like this okay so now it will become so you need to use the square brackets between so now what i need to do is i need uh, so this one is not supported right now so i can remove this one all and i can do app highlight text here directly i can use like this now if i try to check the output so let it compile okay let it compile so yeah it has been compiled successfully compiled now i can check the output and if it refreshes okay now it refreshed so we will see so now it is refreshed but it still didn't converted so why we will save it again and we will copy try to copy it again okay so maybe i think compilation problem i think yeah okay now it has been compiled let's check the output yeah now it's converted to the red color see so my my system is somewhat slow so because of compilation it takes some time so now it has been converted into the red color so now if i try to see the inspect element and here do you will be able to see that it has been applied the background color red through directive we have applied this one to the through the directive this is how we can create custom directive using the uh, custom attribute directive. So, using, uh, this is how we can uh, use the custom attribute directive in the Angular. So, we have written like this. So, if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.